Women's participation in politics and decision-making is a fundamental prerequisite for gender equality, women empowerment, and sustainable development. The 2018 general elections in Zimbabwe was a historic period in which we had four female presidential candidates, 53% of the registered voters being women, and more women ran for both parliamentary and local government level positions. Political power has however remained largely beyond the reach of many women despite the elaborate constitutional provisions on gender equality, the right of women and men to participate equally in political and public life enshrined in several international human rights instruments and treaties. Watch and listen as different women share their experiences. Here is that the time has come that uh, government respects that uh, women uh, constitute 52% uh, of the population of this country. And it does not make sense that when, since we constitute 52%, uh, we are not given the opportunity to represent uh, women in the, in the corridors it is quite critical that women take part in political processes and in governance processes within a country because this is critical to development. We cannot have development and progress without the participation of half of the population within a country. But also within our international, regional and national frameworks, there has been a commitment to increase women's representation uh, in all political processes within parliament and also within our commitment as a country in terms of our SDG 5 and SDG 16 on achieving gender equality within the country. It becomes imperative that women take part. But also if as a country would like to achieve all the sustainable development goals, uh, there is a linkage also within uh, the participation of the other half of the population within that space. And we find that there are various strategies that can be employed to support women's political participation within the country. We found that research has been quite critical in showing where the gaps are and what some of the programming actions that need to be taken are as far as women's participation is concerned. But we have seen that also building as, uh, you know, supporting women as candidates is also another important and critical action uh, that needs to be taken. But what I also find quite critical is the issue of transforming gender norms so that women are perceived as legitimate leaders within a country. Because we find that within society sometimes and culturally women are seen uh, as child rearers and that uh, their place is seen as being best placed within the home. But we need to transform such gender norms to build awareness that women can be capable uh, leaders. And we've seen that through some of our leaders within the country who have performed really uh, well. We have research which points us out that uh, when you have more women decision making, uh, they make smart decisions. They ensure that, for example, national budgets are allocated to social sectors such as education and the health. If us as leaders, we rise up, we can make the world a better place and a safer place for other generations to come. And women have to aspire to break that glass ceiling to get into in there, to be to take their place, their rightful place. I contested in the just ended elections. I ran for the seat in the parliament from Koba constituency. Well, my experiences were, well, if I look back at um, the, the, the campaigning period, how I started and uh, even the period after the elections, I think I do not regret taking part in the elections and um, I, I'm going to give it a shot again in 2023. If I do not make it, I'll still try again in 2028. I believe that one day I'm going to make it. it the journey was an interesting one, but it wasn't easy. You know, society does not really appreciate women in, in politics. You are, you are labeled with different names. I remember 
one one person that I associated with, who is also a woman, uh, said to me, well, all women in politics are known to be prostitutes. <laughs> they are known to be madzmai e madara in politics, you know. So she, she really argued with me and said, that's a dirty game. Why are you getting into it? The society was not really very entertaining and uh, I remember at church my pastors were very supportive but you would see other women would be like why are you wasting your time and you'd always get some of these comments from other women especially other women uh, I'm grateful for my husband he has always been supportive from the from the onset you are saying he just said well if this is what you want go for it so financially he supported me Emotionally, he was always there for me and uh, he gave me all the support that I needed. And well, it wasn't really okay with my in-laws. <laughs> they, they felt that, uh, you know, politics for women is, is way too dangerous. I think they were afraid of losing me. So I, I really had a few experiences like my mom being intimidated. My, some of the candidates that were running under me as councillors uh, being intimidated as well. But we, we, we got over it and we managed to, to sail through the, the campaign period. Uh, some of the challenges that I faced were financial challenges. We really tried to, to invest um, everything that we could as a, as a family in the campaign process. I, I managed to put up a billboard and people would really ask me, where are you getting the funds? <laughs> but I believe if you really love something, you, you can afford to, to invest anything into it. So You find that people who contest the primary elections, which is my Tanga Tiri 3, out of Varume 10. So I contest the primary elections, I don't know how to do it now. Todi, to pinda tese, reka na tu tosa ruzamunuan. But you find wosa madzimai, pane nguva ewo ya tisinga di kutumwe madzimai, aende pamsoro po umu. Tino ziki sirana, dori mwe dambu ziku. No kuti munuese anenga shida, uye kushorana. Kuta uyunga titi rachi uyu, uyu mwana wani ingi uyu. Doko ona tindo shimiro shiriponte kata fine, beta kungo pinda tese pai, mu ground. But anenga abuda, let's support ye, sa madzimai. So, I got a little primary tango pesana. Oh, my gentle dana, we are cool. No, we are good campaign at this. Saka, no patacas end up on my primary. No one could in the budirira. Moko budirira guandagaita. We communicated in a mad's maya kakuntikana. The gata no. Got it in Goshanda Tessie. As women, we are going to stand as women. Tommy Ravami, Lakazi. Tive one voice in Oshika Okupi. And the cookies always an independent candidate. Same with my own word made. Naka Kundwa Nemo Rumeanga and the cookies and an anger was an PF. A Chaganya would and the Kundi Pacuana candidate and in duty. I shandi sa masho kuma mwa kuziki sira kwa kazi achiti muno tunga miri rose ni wano ichi uure. Sikara ya ipa apu pacho zapa na kunyanyo wana mavozi ni utuwa mwango waku mshora sikuti. Chaka suyeta utanya zondi darika ndi chokuta anga kuenda ma muwana achi wapa maari achi wachitenga doro kunyanya doro iroro. Saka wano ewa itika na wazo da kwa manji. Do I so not so you farm, but I need seem bunny good dog, or quick, what you show about the nini. But you know, convince us to carry my mind, and worry what is in the show about the second as or kundwa. She much again to kundis as a carrying the jokutiva in the dava jiva. Vaga bavangoma, quasis, so good tea, vai squafia chinsi. Capas can go pairs or zizi to our good zinga, mumin, the mamugir, and good tea if Ragoyan is an PF. In the Pamka Gara Pesa Chesa Chaka Kusunungura and Gauri Gueja Gueja, I introduced one in his NPF. Dalatang and the Rikus and PF Quach, but he could corruption a Kasungoi Tika Wiko Coco, or Tim Mariam Dagate, but the Roma Ray, but Daravani Coco. So I'm going to visit. 
Second band ka zota rige ndi kondeste zvangu ndiri ku independent koko. Secretary wa sabok. But avachandi shedza ma meetings ne zvimwe zvese zvanda zvataita plus o pa kana pa ma inputs avaimbondi pawo ma fertilizer nembe. Avachatondi pa ndongoita zvongono anchatoziva kuti pamwe akatoisa umwe munhu nekuda kwechikonzero chekuti ndakaita independent candidate here. Ni andina hangu kuita four down kuda kuita give up andina. Kunyangwe zvakaoma zvikuoma ndo zvisoti zvakatongooma ende zvakaoma nenzira dzakawandisisa pati. Naona kuti azvingandi konese shuiro dzangu kana kukanda mapfumo pasi nekuda kwaizvo zva handitombo. Eh ndi ndinoitwa nedzai mapens. Ndaka kondesta ndiri mutasa sendro. Mutasa sendro mama ka home pa kondesta kwacho. Nekuti vanhu vendai kondesta nawo vanga vatori vanhu vanga vari vanhu vane zvinhu zvavo. Isusu tati kutanga semadzimai takati sina ma resources zvakakwana. Saka pakushaya kwetakaita ma resources madzimai akatanga kunotarisira pasi kuti haungakwanise kunge uchidini uchikondesta uchibudirira. E vanhu vakapewa zvinhu especially kuno kuma misha vakapewa zvinhu avanhu vanokufarira. Wese kana iri nguva yekuti ma election ukawaya nema t-shirts uya nezvibage uya nema fertilizer hamunono buda but nenye yekuti susu takati sina hochinyi izvozvo ndakangozowa nhangu ma vote mashoma but asi zvatakasangana nazvo mukati me ward 3 zvaive zvakaoma pekutanga semune anga ku opposition party vashoma vazhinji vacho ndive ruling party saka kwaichikisa famba simunukadzi usina chawina acho usina motokari tichita ma door to door campaigns zvoti vaitosvika pamwe pamba uchitosvika vachitovhara ma door tai kuti ndima opposition party asa ndina kumira takaramba tichifamba chete tichitaura nevanhu chitaura nevanhu vamwe vachititendera vamwe vachiramba hazvina kuti pa kudzoka shure takaramba tichienderera mberi kusvika pangoye kuti takuno vota e vazhinji Vaita se munhu kadzi tukasa kukutsigirai asi kuno kuti tinochidzwa zvoti kana pakuvhota chaipo muno ona tokona kutenda kana nevanhu vakatimirira dzimaye chidiki vaitomirirwa pa queue yekupa line nekuvhota unopinda neumwe waunenge uinaye kana wasuspect kuti wewe unogona kuvhotera munhu kadzi kana to opposition party kuti wenzi itanda kare mara umwe ati handigone kunyora ndifunga pakazosvika kubvunzwa sabhu kuchaye zvikanze mimi baba mumbore ani mabvira kungopinda nevanhu vakawanda kanzi ndiri sabuk zvikanze apa mukumbita nezve zvanze ndiri kuassist ava vasiri kugona kunyora zvikanze vanhu vesava vari kunga assist kwe nemimi ko vamwe buti kuti vanhu vava vana here vanhu vanokwanisa kuvabatsira kusvika vatozodzingwa baba ye vai 18 election ndaka pindo pa part list ye PRC ndichida kupinda pa PR proportional representation so pa part list ndaka kwanisa ngo kuenda pa number 1 Shakanya nyondi rwadza pa election ya 2018 inyaye kuti sema Zimbabweans asati tazia kuti munhu mukadzi anokwanisa kuita lead ndaifamba mma constituents ese ari 18 ndichi kambenera mai mjuru kuma constituents asuko kwa makunuko waitoona kuti vanhu vachakasara zvakanyanya kubirikidza kuti ne information yavano wane koko vanoshandisirwa masabuko lies the 2018 elections so we start off by just highlighting that uh, there were gross abuses for of women the portrayal of women in the media was not as good as we thought there's a lot of uh, the cyber space and abuse of social media in terms of denigrating women we also have got special issues that are very personal particularly targeting the zec chair we have issues targeting the mdct president uh, madam kupe we've got issues surrounding the participation of women which was not in the best interest of what we have set out in our constitution and our different political parties so we one of the outstanding issues is that we have seen a decline in the representation of women uh, in parliament in the senate and across the political parties and provincial structures that they have, they 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 have, they, have, they have in their own constituencies I think 2018 was a, a mixed masala election from a women's rights perspective and from a women's political participation perspective. It was a good 
election on one hand because it showed us and it proved unequivocally that the numbers of women who are willing to engage in the political processes and in particular to contest for elections, the appetite amongst the women's constituency is very high. It's the first election that we've had since independence where we've had over 1,400 women actually saying I am interested in standing for public elected position. And I think that is an, on its own is something to celebrate. Uh, the history of Zimbabwean election is so violent and it's so manipulative. And I think there's a lot that needs to be done around our perspectives of the communities. That a woman is someone who's capable. We are equally the same as men. So I think people should remove that uh, mentality to say women cannot lead us, women cannot do much. We should, they should have a different view. So it's also about socialization. How do we talk about women in public? How does the media report about women? How do we talk about women in schools? Even how do we talk about girls in schools? Uh, what does the state say about a woman? So I mean, we have a lot of work to do around dismantling the patriarchal system that we are working with. But disabled women, are, disabled persons are put by themselves to, to elect senators. So we do not have the opportunity to have much in the community because as, as, as women themselves do not have that opportunity, as disabled persons in the community it becomes worse, we do not have that opportunity of saying any word, and then no one can even listen to us. That we realize that a lot of women are reluctant to come into the political space because of the experiences that the women who have come into that space before have through the media and other forms of abuse. So we, we realize that as a commission, one thing we need to look at is to make sure that the political space itself is actually gender sensitive, that the commission should actually go out into the rural areas, have dialogues with women and talk to women and try to convince them that they need to come into the political space. So we, we feel that at least now it is very clear what we need to do uh, as a commission. We need to ensure that there are amendments to the, to the, to the legislation and to introduce a gender parity legislation and we are also looking at uh, introducing legislation on sexual harassment because it came also clear that a lot of women are, are discouraged from coming into the political space or any leadership position for that matter because of sexual harassment. So we are... When uh, the electoral season is in place, uh, matters become so emotional and people become so selfish that they forget about this gender d discussion. We need more engagement, more awareness, particularly uh, with the political players themselves. Um, uh, it is important that we adhere to the Constitution. The Constitution is correct. It is to provide for the, uh, the correct uh, legal framework, but it is the actions of the political players who pay lip service to gender matters when the election season uh, is around us. First of all, it's not easy for women to actually become politicians. I commend all women politicians. One, you need to have a thick skin. It's not as easy as you think, and I think it's not a walk in the park. There's a lot that happens in politics. Women have got, they are subject to abuse in many ways, sexual abuse, verbal abuse, violence, and they have to stand the ground. Especially those who are contesting in the constituencies, the 210 constituencies, because there's PR as well, professional representation, which comes after the constituencies uh, 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 results have been announced and they benefit from that. So to me that again okay, comes about in terms of the leaders in the political parties picking who they believe is best, not on merit. So they also suffer in terms of capacity because there is no criteria from a capacity point of view which says that you must have all levels or a degree. As a result they are seen wanting in that regard. I think one of the things that still remains is a bit of healing on the part of uh, some of the women because they experienced uh, difficulties within their own parties. And also the intra-party dialogue. I think they still need to be uh, facilitated because they are, I think, getting uh, on the way in terms of creating that peace. I think I suffered from depression three times in a space of seven months because of all that was going through. Um, I, was, I was exposed to ageism, that people were telling me that you're too young, you can't do this, I'm 21 years.
saying, ah, and Dapuchkor, why are you not in school, you know? So you think that you can actually represent us. Um, there was that. There was always the slip of patriarchy that as a woman you can't do this. You can't be doing politics. If you are doing politics, then or I mean, um, there was always uh, the patriarchy was it. It came in so many different forms, but as things were getting on, as the campaigning was going on, I started appreciating it. And I told myself that, you know what, I'm not going to let this end me. I was exposed to online bullying, body shaming, um, a lot of insults, a lot of hate speech. Um, but I soldiered on. Um, I now, I'm now at peace about it. I now speak with peace because I learned from that. And I got to to overcome that. Politics, because politics is not an easy game. You just need to have this elephant skin because uh, some will criticize, some will support you. So I just want to urge these young women out there that they must rise up and also fight for their rights. There are a lot of young women that have now come up and are talking about what was happening during the primary elections. And one of the things that was happening around the primary elections was the issue of sex as a currency. And I know that some of those issues uh, usually are taboo because we are unhappy talking about those issues. So we skate around them. The, politi the political parties don't, don't, don't have the political will for women to participate freely. Say I have won in the primary elections. Then there will come the mass of the, the muscles. There's the men, the men, the men. Then the others say, ah, no, you don't have to, to, to be uh, uh, like this. Yeah, you have to give this, this post, post, post to, the, to, to, to the other person. The number of women that participated, a few only managed to make it to the end and managed to actually being selected as members of parliament, even being councillors. So, which speaks to the issues of the patriarchal system that's, that actually regards uh, men as the people who are actually supposed to lead and they are the ones who are actually taking up these leadership positions and are actually being the ones being voted by other women. You are a single person, you are regarded as a prostitute. Hey, just imagine, if you want to do something, they will degrade you saying he, he does, she doesn't have a husband, so she's not a suitable candidate. Hey, is it fair in Zimbabwe? We should have fair things that everyone is equal and we have to have equal opportunities. So I voted, 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 so today, Madzmaya she don't born is from Kano. We don't teach Koro. We don't born yet. So in this from class, we just don't zin the church. The church. Madzmaya, we are not showing. But we share, man. It's not so difficult to learn. We are share. When you look at uh, women, I think oh, mama, bale problem a one. Bale mse benze mne. They are overwhelmed. Emma Kaya. By a funera, or whatever pege, by gazes, say, Imigano, by Muni Savantuana, by Hambi Savantuana, Escolo, Uguacha, Melele, or Mamma. Master citizens feel so good to sing in a lati, Gulao Ama positions, adding Wooty, Sifuna Galema officine, Sifuna Galem Sevenzin, Sibona Gales campaigner, go by problem, go by king, I get it, because Cabas of Wunzim, what is the balance in seven young and higher. Lim Savings, young Api, Yama Officine. So his cat is Neng. He could also cause the Ama conflicts, M's in yet. He could photo also cause the isn't just Java gender based violence. Over a Sebastian Wooty, I'll pay gang. I'll get paid, pay late. Sebuya, so which I want a so good lure, so seven Ama conflicts and Jenga on allow. So Kagatagi like a cool Wooty over Vanigue Labo E Ulwas. They should be trained, they should be given the knowledge to also know what to do. 
sisebenze sonke esiphathisane ukuze kube lenqubekela phambili kuma communities ethu asi ndadaro zvakaporu vengo nevamwe vandigere nawo ndofunga shamwari dzemuduze dzakatanga kutaramuka ndokubva vatanga kuti zava mwe ndivhunza muda kumira mune chi ngati pei ngazoditsa zvokuti uwega unomborulisa hope a vanhu vazhinji vakawanikwa nekuchidzirwa kuti makavhotira opposition party kushawanika tichenda kuhondo kuvhotira MDC kushawana chikudzinga ipi kugara the electoral system itself it was smooth there were not no problems that i encountered both with the police with the zec no it was smooth sailing right batsira pataida rubatsiro vachitipa ma advice pataida advice saka in as far as the zec processes and the police were concerned everything was okay this year Fortunately, it was very calm. Uh, we, there was no intimidation. But uh, unfortunately, all Madzimayo, they didn't rally uh, behind us. It was only two women who were contesting in our constituents. We were about 18, but only out of those 18, 32 were cards. But Madzimai, I don't know why they shan to support Madzimai. Uh, I think issue we don't trust one another. I don't know. Saka Mukukontesa Imom. Dakaona Kuti was a challenge home. You even Avandi ku support our market. The campaign of Daro Papa in a name calling. It is serious. Yeah, you could not Javi P. Jawia say, and so it's like, you know, Daku Gudosa Gumashu, Rejakanyan is as you know, Pesera Wate Ako Jiregira. Because the Gazona one, you are now chins Gamans, Waka Daruti Mamoen, you age as a desk a day. Vana was with Fari. I say, I want to thank Wanong Lang when the that that push Next time, can I talk about my elections at 2023? I not I not I not I not I Saka zvakati ongozoita kuti unochika kuti uite but zvazvo ongozoti ongozoti ai wa let me do it ndingo na kuti ground rakaita say kuitira next time kana nda kuda futi kuti kupinda mazviri I made the decision very late very very late just came as a realization because I had thought Lynette Karenyi who is a friend a former boss a feminist a very strong political leader. I thought the MDC Alliance was going to be choosing Lynette Karen because she was interested in this constituency as well to be the MP. So when I realized the politics that happened around her, I decided to stand up and say, we, we the women of Dangamvara, Chikanga, it's high time that we stand up and represent this constituency because also we have never had a female MP in Dangamvara, Chikanga. So this is the reason why I decided to stand up in the race against all odds which I knew very much that I did not match the resources of the other two people, uh, Mr. Mupumi and Mr. Tsiami, who were also in the race. But then it was important to get into the race, feel how it is like to be running for an election, hoping that in the future that experience will help us and we'll be able probably to win the constituents and represent the people of Langavrashkanga. But I am going to be able to contest and I won't do Angashi Dakumboti Fundutsira Fundutsira. But I can take a mirror note in the situation and watch and under Katarisa Nacho. I told Bosama, oh, and I contest and I told Bosama to Miravan because on Timbira could eat Sakanda Karamba and Kamila was in Dangis, such a number of Changu Chanda, and I would die out to the streets. She will remove no cards. She's a man with a regard series. There continues to be considerable gender based inequalities across social, political, and economic spheres. The need to deconstruct social and cultural gender stereotypes. 
facilitate social transformation remains work in progress. We note the need to go beyond the legislative framework but on paper alone to practically stamp discrimination, including that which is perpetrated indirectly through cultural practices that supports us to subordinate women to men. We note the replacement of physical with cyber-based battery and sustained hate speech against women. We have received feedback that although there is an increase in female presidential countries, they were subjected to unfair media and public scrutiny compared to their main counterparts. Yes. <laughs> In 2023, Ruda Okwe Quiz.